What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play of CJ. I want to talk about. I'm trying to avoid talking about the lockout, especially during the holidays, because it's just depressing. And um, but I just want to talk about how pink hat fans, quote unquote pink hat fans, uh, ruined hockey, especially the Boston Bruins. I think he ruined it because I mean, there's really not. I mean, even Jeremy Jacobs can't ruin the Bruins for me, and he's you know ruining the NHL right now. He's the reason we're locked out, but. Um, you know, you think about, and this isn't just sexist, because there are men that are just, you know, bandwagon fans. I think bandwagon's probably more appropriate, um, because I don't want to offend anyone, because I know there are a lot of women out there that are real big Bruins fans. So my mother and a lot of her friends, you know, have been Bruins fans since the 60s, the 70s. I don't know if my mom's not that old, uh, since the 60s and 70s. And, you know, um, you just think about the people that will be there no matter what. And, uh, you know, I remember going to games my sophomore year in high school, Claude Julian's first year. Um, I was at the game Bergeron got hurt against Philly, and, you know, that was a $10 ticket I got. You know, that was back when tickets were cheap, and, you know, people, kids like me that, you know, that worked part-time jobs and whatnot could go over and see games. And, you know, I remember the first Bruins game went to by myself getting to see uh, the Lightning play, which, you know, being Omen later on going to Tampa. But uh, seeing the Cavalier and, and Marty St. Louis warm up up close was like, wow. And then, you know, I was at the game, Crosby had his first Gordy Howe hat trick when he fought Ferentz. Um, you know, again, Bergeron got hurt. I got to see the Red Wings play the other one, the Cub, in 2008. Um, you know, that was a good, and then after that, ticket prices went through the roof, and people that weren't Bruins fans before all of a sudden became Bruins fans, you know, when the team started playing well. And I think that's reflective of a lot of teams. And I mean, I talked about how much I love the celebrity bandwagon thing in Hollywood for the Cup run with uh, the LA Kings, but, you know, that's one thing. But you got, you know, the people there that, you know, all the girls with signs, you know, oh, Sagan, we love you, da da da. I remember Sagan had a goal in the preseason, his rookie year, and uh, they, someone made a highly early goal against one of the Czech teams when they were playing in Prague with the song Teenage Dream by Katy Perry playing. No offense to Katy Perry, but seriously, really? You know, it's, it's just disheartening because when going to games when, you know, when hockey is going on, is. You know, cost an arm and a leg. You know, I mean, it's cheaper in, in Tampa than it is up here, but uh, you know, it's it's a tough draw, and it's too bad. You know, it's really gotten away from its roots. It's kind of like that some that go, goes from somewhere, you know, that isn't great and becomes something great, and forgets where they came from and you know what shaped them. And you know, people that that work for them shaped and represented the Boston Bruins especially. And uh, you know, it's too bad that people that just you know the up like it's not even a class thing. You know, more people and people with disposable income can go to games. You know, the tickets that were ten bucks five years ago or you know fifty bucks now face value. Then they get flipped to three times that for a regular season game in October against Winnipeg. I mean, you know, hypothetically last year more than anything, but you know, and it's wrong. I mean, the, the people that were there from the get go are getting treated like shit, for lack of a better word. But you know, I think that's part of the root of the lockout, and I think that's going to continue to hurt the hockey, the, the NHL. In its uh, public relations, because fans are already betrayed by high ticket prices and kind of being alienated. You know, but that's uh, that is what it is. That's all I got this episode of Power Play with CJ on the the pink hat fans ruining the game of hockey or playing a role in ruining the game of hockey. That's later, guys.